Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Han Solo from the upcoming Solo A Star Wars Story. That's right, these are already starting to trickle their way onto store shelves right now. I don't think they're technically supposed to be out just yet, but April is the month of release, and some folks are already finding them like me. I actually just picked this guy up at Target, and I'm excited to check him out. So of course he does come in that standard black series packaging with a nice window box there, fully showcasing our figure within. It looks just like all the other black series packages we've been getting recently. And when you flip that around to the backside, we just kind of have a little silhouetted out image of Solo with a brief explanation of the character from the upcoming film. So let's go ahead and just get this guy outside of the box and take a closer look at the action figure. So of course this is the six inch scale line and you can see that Han here stands right at six inches tall. So perfect scale there. And I wanna start by taking a look at the head sculpt because Hasbro's Black Series has really stepped up a notch in my opinion ever since they started doing the face print technology. And as you can see, this figure has a really nice likeness to actor Alden Ehrenreich, who's playing Han Solo in the film. Now, I'm still trying to get past my own mental hurdles of it not being Harrison Ford in the role, but looking past that and strictly at the toy, this is really nicely done. It's a great sculpt, and that face print technology looks really great on here, giving us a really nice face sculpt. And like I said, that alone really seems to bring the Black Series as a whole up to a whole new level than we had before. I really love this, so great likeness there. Now, the rest of the paint looks pretty good as well. I do have a bit of a blemish. You can see there's some black paint on his neck, uh, kind of just up from the collar of his shirt. Uh, so that's kind of a minor little blemish. Other than that, I would say the rest of the paint is really nice looking on this guy. You can see there's some good kind of subtle wash going on in his leather jacket there. That definitely gives it a bit of a textured look, which I really like. You can also see that same kind of subtle wash in the uh, blue pants that he's wearing. So it's got a bit of depth to it. There's some little darkness there. And by the way, great outfit, right? I mean, it is a very Han Solo outfit. I mean, all the way down to those classic pants that he was wearing in the original trilogy. Of course, his leather jacket there just looks like something Han would be wearing. Wearing. So overall, I think it's a great looking action figure and overall the quality feels really nice I mean, he's a very sturdy feeling figure and the articulation is all nice and tight on this guy Which I love so speaking of that let's go ahead and uh, work our way through the articulation here Of course, you do have that kind of ball joint at the neck so you can see great range of motion there I can spin the head all the way around we got those nice ball like joints at the shoulders that are kind of tight so they kind of click upwards but you can rotate them you can move them up to the sides there you got the swivels at the elbow as well as really nice bends at the elbow with a great range of motion look how high up we can actually bend his forearm i like that quite a bit we got swivels at the wrist as well as the hinge joints at the wrist which is really nice we got a nice torso joint there good ball joint so he swivels all the way around at the torso there uh, so that is really nice uh, we do have nice ball joints at the thigh so legs can go outwards a little bit of a hindrance because of the holster he's wearing on the belt there uh, but we still can swivel at the thighs we got nice double joints at the knees which are really tight have that great kind of ratchet thing going on so they really click and hold in place there which is great uh, we've got the standard ankle joints so the ankles can move up and down as well as rock side to side so a good range of uh, motion there with all the articulation for some really good posability now the only accessory that Han Solo comes with is I guess the only accessory a Han Solo needs and that is a good blaster at his side uh, so you can see we've got it holstered here which is great so you can kind of unclip that holster if you want to and in that holster we've got that classic Han Solo blaster exactly as you would expect a Han Solo to have so his right hand is sculpted with a trigger finger which holds onto that blaster perfectly and now we can pull off some really nice poses with Han pointing that blaster getting ready to use it just looking cool exactly as Han Solo does Overall, this is a really nice action figure. Like I said, he's very solid. The paint is really nice all the way through with only that one real little spot on his neck that's noticeable on mine specifically. That's gonna happen from time to time. I love the likeness there. I think that face sculpt is really great. Really loving the uh, face print technology that they're using. And overall, I think this makes for a really nice action figure from the upcoming solo film. I'm looking forward to the film and I'm actually looking forward to picking up a few more of these characters from the film just because I really like the look of the characters. 
So as I mentioned, this guy is supposed to be hitting stores sometime here in April. You might get lucky and find him a little early like I did, so happy hunting, my friends! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my toy videos. Until next time, my friends. <laughs>